Good morning. It's the Orlando Gardner coming at you. And we're here at Mr. Hunt's house. One of the subscribers and a longtime mango and fruit collector enthusiast. And uh, I am excited because behind him, next to him, wow, he has a brand new variety, y'all. And he hadn't named it. Um, but he can tell you uh, the type of mango he got uh, to start it and uh, and a little bit about himself. Yeah, Mr. Hunt. How you doing, everybody? Yes. This is basically a um, Julie. I got it from a Julie mango seed. Wow. And the Julie mango seed. Um, there was a lady down south and she had Julie. She had Haitian mango. She had Valencia. She had everything. Yes. And we had a little bit of everything and we loved it so much that we... Got the, we saved the seed, <laughs> we planted it, and yeah. six years later, six years later, this is what we have. Wow! And two years ago was the first time that it actually bared fruit. Okay. And my wife was out here. Yeah. Like uh, every day. Yeah. Two of them, sometimes three of them. Yeah. She knew that you know. Yeah. So it was really exciting for us. Um, it's really news to me what Kevin is saying about you know about the you know, the different type and how you could name it. And that's yeah. news to me. So it's always something exciting about mango trees. Yeah. But my wife loves it. I have other varieties, but this is like our baby here. Okay. And, okay. Um, yes. So it took about six years, six and a half years. Mm -hmm. The fruit is good. It's like a yellow, uh, orangey type uh, fruit. Okay. So it's, it's like the skin is yellow, yellowish, yeah, orange. orange okay. Okay. And it's not stringy. That's the okay. nice thing about it. And okay. It's sweet, sweet, sweet. Wow. Wow. Now, if there are any fruit out there that you would uh, compare it to as far as the flavor or the tones, is it kind of like an orange, mango, banana, coconut? What, what kind of flavors oh, would you compare? That's a hard one because my wife is the one that kills this tree. <laughs> <laughs> so if okay, I, if okay, I okay. A taste of it, I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. May all right. I have one, please? <laughs> <laughs> it got to be good. So it's it's kind of hard, but this year I'll. You know, I'll make more of a note yeah. on, you know, those little things and I can always get back to you. Ab absolutely. And I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> well, man, I tell you, Mr. Hunt, this is a beautiful tree. It is uh, it is compact. Um, it is loaded. And uh, uh, would you say uh, about how big you said uh, the fruit uh, seems to get? About a little bigger than a tennis ball. OK. Probably a little bigger. A yeah. little bigger than a tennis ball. Yeah. OK. Okay. But some of them might grow maybe a taste bigger, but the average. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is this is awesome. I, I tell you, I like the uh, the um, compactness of it and and the height of it being uh, six years, six seven years old. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm excited to try it. You know, Julie tends to make some really good varieties. Uh, their uh, Julie daughters and granddaughters are very popular in the mango community. And uh, I'm looking at the health of the tree and I would uh, give two thumbs up and say, man, y'all have done a great job at uh, developing this. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that you contacted me and gave me an opportunity to come out to see this new variety. And uh, we'll we'll be back, and I'm inviting you personally, you and your wife, to to my garden. Oh, we look forward to it. And when when it gets you know ready, mm -hmm. when it's bearing, when it's ready to pick, yeah, I'm gonna make sure that I get some in your pocket. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, Mr. Hunt, uh, standing next to next to the Hunt Mango. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the Orlando Gardener coming at you, and we're grateful for, for you being a subscriber and the invite invite to come out to you properly and we look forward to a great fellowship and friendship here now in the future. Alrighty. Thank you.